the economic management team shall actually be in the front lines explaining to Nigerians what is going on with the economy. Why haven't we been hearing them as often as we could? Well, I think what the economy needs is action. Uh, as much as possible. We are doing as much talking as is necessary. And um, I think that uh, the critical issues that have to be addressed uh, need to be addressed. And um, what people want to see are results. They want to see that things are, that there is movement in the right direction. Mobilizing domestic revenue is of great importance to the federal government. Afterwards, there will be significant spending on social investment to the extent that 10% of the budget is going to be used for social protection program, which will include training for 500,000 teachers, microcredit scheme for 300,000 market women, and several youth empowerment programs. Now, youth employment is very crucial. We think that for graduate employment, you know, the direct creation of jobs, they, 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 they teach Nigeria, oh, that 500,000 teachers will do some, we will address some of that concern. But for those who are not graduates, we have, uh, we're looking at investing in that also substantially. And how we intend to do that is by this youth uh, employment uh, scheme. Investment in infrastructural development is a key component to economic growth. What kind of attention are we paying to this? Oh yeah, I mean the whole, and that's why we're spending so much money on infrastructure, and that's power. I mean, we're, doing, we're going to spend a lot of money on power. And you see, if you look at uh, the our whole capital spend in this budget, is directed at ensuring that we're able to improve the economy significantly. It's common knowledge that our revenue profile is taking a hit at the moment. No thanks to our monoproduct economy. One of the critical areas for us is the agro-allied value chain. That's very important for, for us. And we've looked at how we can improve the agro-allied value chain. If you look at rice, for example, we're looking at milling, you know, uh, how we can ensure that there's more investment in, this, in silos, in storage, and also in milling. It's important to us that uh, agriculture is not a government uh, business. What is crucial is that we create the environment and bring in you know, uh, private partnerships. About the conditional cash transfer, yes. I mean, I looked at uh, some of the models out there. There was this distrust. Yes. What are we doing to ensure we don't experience that kind of challenge? Yeah. Well, first of all, let me explain this conditional cash transfers because you know there's a, there's a bit of a misrepresentation of what it is. First, it is to the poorest in our society. It is not to unemployed young people. Some people have suggested that we're giving 5,000 naira to unemployed young people. No. What we're doing for young people, graduates and the unemployed is what I've explained, you know, the, the, the teacher scheme as well as vocational training, etc. The economy, more than ever, needs a stimulant, and on time too. Chamberlain Usaw, Channels Television News.